let's start with this triangle, ABC, right triangle with a right angle at C. And the first thing we're going to do is split it into two triangles. Well, three actually, counting ABC itself. And with this segment, this segment, the altitude to the hypotenuse. We've got a lot of theorems to come out of this, so let's get started. First, let's review a few things. Well, angles 1 and 2, I'll just say the blue and the red one there, must be complementary. After all, this is a right triangle. Well, this is also a right triangle, so 2 and 3 are complementary. Well, by that reasoning, I guess 1 and 3 are congruent. The two blue ones, that is. And that is, they're complements of the same angle. I can repeat that same argument for number 4. And now I've got the two red angles congruent, the two blue angles congruent. That's going to help us see that this triangle, similar to this triangle, and similar to the overall triangle. We've got three similar triangles. So let's have a look at, at um, let me take those three triangles and I'm going to position them differently. I'm going to take them like this. I'm going to flip them across the axes like that. Just like that. And then I want to take this triangle and I'll rotate it down like that. I'll take this triangle and spin it. Yeah, let's see, how do I spin it? How did I do that? Uh, maybe down here. Spin it down this way. Okay, well, get rid of this. So you can see a little fancy footwork there, a little origami. I've taken this, I've reflected it and rotated it to reposition it here. Taken this triangle, done the same thing. Now we can see they're in the same relative position. We've got the red angle on the top, blue angle on the right, and the lower left got the right angle. Now it's going to help us see a couple things. Let's start with, well, let's start with this. Theorem 7-5. Theorem 7-5, well, as I said, there's three theorems here. This I've got not one, not two, but three similar triangles. So ABC, that's this overall triangle, is similar to this one and this one. Let's get the vertices in the right order. So, looking at this triangle, I guess ABC is similar to ACD. Okay? And again, the ABC, the ABC of this triangle, looking here, that would be C, B, D. Very nice. So, even if I were to go back to my original drawing, this is still true. This triangle, ABC, similar to ACD and C, B, D. Okay, back to the fancy origami. Let's, um, let's look at it. the second theorem we've got here. Aha. Uh -huh. That theorem has to do with this segment, the altitude to the hypotenuse. This segment, H, is the geometric mean between X and Y, the two segments of the hypotenuse C here. Now, I can see it more clearly here. This is where it comes from. Look at these two triangles. X is to H as H is to Y. Again, X is to H as H is to Y. Now, folding them back up, X is to H as H is to Y. That is where the, well, the altitude to the hypotenuse is the geometric mean between these two segments or components of the hypotenuse. All right, one more. Let's go back to this triangle or restore our fancy picture and see that the geome geometric mean, the leg version of the theorem. Well, I can look at it right here. I'm going to use this triangle and the overall triangle to say X is to B as B is to 
C. Using the blue triangle and the overall triangle, I could say Y is to A as A is to C. Hmm. Now, folding them back up, let's look at what does it look like just on, well, on this figure. X, that's the adjacent piece, is to the leg as the leg is to the entire hypotenuse. X is to B as B is to C. Or down here in the blue, I could say Y is to A as A is to C. No matter how you look at it, you've got one, two, three theorems. Lots of action on this figure.